Welcome to Advent Soundbites, a four-week segment taking you through some popular and unknown hymns that are attributed to the Advent season. My name is Zachary and I'm from the Music Ministry. This week we'll be discussing and reflecting on Jesus Bleibert Minor Freude. Jesus Bleibert Minor Freude is German for Jesus Joy of Man's Desiring. This song is actually a cantata, which is a sacred piece composed by the German Baroque composer Johann Sebastian Bach, and it was widely sung back in the church that Bach worked as, as an organist. So it began in the district of Weimar in Germany as a cantata for the fourth Sunday of Advent. This is perhaps one of Bach's most famous choral works today, and it features a flowing instrumental line taken originally by string instruments and an oboe solo, accompanied as well with a chorale. I believe that this hymn is able to emulate the joyful anticipation which encompasses the season of Advent as we wait for the Nativity of Jesus, the Infant King. Jesus bleibet meine Freude, meines Jetzens Trost to um, we know that this year has never been easy to most of us. A lot of things had happened. Our world suddenly stopped and became so quiet. I myself actually have been impacted big time, which causes me to suffer anxiety. Leaving myself far from my family back in the Philippines. Until I received an invitation to join the choir practice. I'm very grateful, so thankful, as it becomes my diversion. We were given few songs to practice and to study our parts, and one of them is Jesus Bleibet Meine Freude, which means Jesus Remains My Joy. It's a German song, but it's beautiful, a wonderful song, perfect for this, um, uh, perfect for this uh, occasion, uh, I mean during the Advent season. So let me share with you its English translation so you may fully understand its meaning. Jesus remains my joy, the comfort and life's blood of my heart. Jesus defends me against all sorrows. He is my life's strength, the delight and sun of my eyes, my soul's treasure and joy. Therefore, I shall not let Jesus go from my heart and sight. That's very beautiful, is it? This song reminded me how compassionate and loving our Lord. After I have read it, its English translation, I suddenly whispered to myself, you know, because um, it's a perfect timing that the song was given to us, because I'm pretty down by that time. So I just whispered to myself, you are my everything, O Lord Jesus. Definitely, I am nothing if I don't have you. I felt relieved and believed that he has spoken to me through this song. What struck me the most is this phrase, Jesus defends me against all sorrows. He is my life's strength. I always pray to God, especially during difficult times, lifting up everything to him. Yet, I will still say, you know what's inside my heart? Give me strength to accept thy will, for I know that you will not forsaken me. It's very clear that I, that I still feel frightened of, you know, what will happen. It is easily to become wrapped in fear, particularly over things outside our control. Yet our Lord God reminds us in Book of Kings, chapter 20, verse 5, Fear not, my child. For I have heard your prayer and seen your tears. I will heal you. God is showing us more mercy than we deserve, you know. If we are unable to see His providence as good, we will never be content on this life. Having this faith and love, I know that time of tears and crying is almost over. All our sorrows will turn to joy. Thus, 
Keep yourself awakened, my brothers and sisters, and be watchful. He will not find us asleep, but rather feasting. What about you, my brothers and sisters? How much do you think you're ready in accepting God's plan for you?